What is going on guys? It's your boy Chris Alanius here. We're going to be taking a quick look at the Bidoof breakout event today. Um, I didn't cover it before the event because we were going over a lot of those updates that po Niantic has put into Pokemon Go with the pandemic changes and the bonus changes. So we're going to kind of take a quick look at what the Bidoof event has to offer. Um, I'm gonna have it on one of these sides of me, probably this side or this side. I don't, I don't, I don't know yet. Anyway, we got Shiny Bidoof being introduced, which is exciting. And this event is gonna be going from Friday, June 25th at 10 a.m. to Thursday, jo July 1st at 8 p.m. local time. So this event has already started most places. I'm excited for the Shiny Bidoof. This whole video is not gonna be at the desk. This is just kind of where we're getting out the details of the event. And we'll show some gameplay a little bit later. So we got Bidoof will be appearing more often in the wild in raids and encounters. And they say that uh, Bidoof will be spawning more often throughout the course of the event. So we'll find out if that means it's starting with a few and increasing or just going to be a massive amount regardless. On certain days of the event, Bidoof you encounter will know certain attacks that it cannot normally learn. So let's quickly go through those. If you want Shadow Ball on your Bidoof, you're going to have to catch it anywhere between Friday, June 25th at 10 a.m. to Saturday, June 26th at 11.59 p.m. Uh, Thunderbolt from Sunday, June 27th at 12 a.m. to Monday, June 28th at 11.59 p.m. And if you want your Bidoof to know Ice Beam, you would have to catch it from Tuesday, June 29th at 12 a.m. to Wednesday, June 30th at 11 59 p.m. now if you need any if you need to write the, down those times there's plenty of pokemon go infographics you can look up or just pull up their update in the app if you want to check it also says in the today view tab which move you can kind of find out there so with that we we can also evolve bidoof anytime during the event to get a barrel that knows hyper beam now, from what I understand, Hyper Beam isn't a super effective move, something you super need, so I'm probably not going to be doing that myself. At least not for Hyper Beam, I'll just evolve a Bidoof just to evolve the Bidoof. And then we got Team Go Rocket cashing in on the Bidoof Breakout event. They're going to be turning Bidoof into a Shadow Pokemon, so we got to go out there, save those Shadow Bidoofs, do what we do, and protect the world of Pokemon Go from the evil hands of team go rocket jerks you'll also be able to get bidoof gift stickers from spinning pokey stops and opening gifts from what i understand there's three you can get and then there will be bonuses for each time frame of the event so for the same time frame as shadow bullet we will have two times catch xp for the same time frame as thunderbolt we will have three times catch xp and from for her, I'm sorry, for the same time as Ice Beam, we will have four times catch XP, which is absolutely insane. So now that we're seeing this, it sounds like Bidoof will be appearing the most often when we have that four times catch XP. If you drop a lucky egg while you're grinding during that last day or last couple days, you'll be stacking eight times catch XP and Bidoof is super easy to throw excellent throws on. So if you're grinding to level 40, level 50, just need some XP, bust it out. That's all I'm saying. So right now I'm not getting any spawns. I'm going to go out a little later, see how often the Bidoof are showing up, and I will be checking back with you guys to let you know my experience with this event at the beginning. And then we'll check back a little bit later uh, once the spawns supposedly increase. What is going on, Pokemon trainers? Thank you for joining me for that uh, Bidoof discussion earlier. Uh, today we are at Rio Vista. We're in their volleyball court because nobody is playing volleyball right now. It's super hot out. <laughs> um, but we are here to kind of see if we can hunt down any shiny Bidoof. But also we have to rescue Shadow Ho-Oh. So we're going to be working on that a little bit. But I want to catch up and kind of... This is a day or two after the first part of the video. So I want to kind of share what my experience with the Bidoof have been like. So over here I have a screenshot of what my Bidoof number, sorry, I thought there was a bug. What my Bidoof numbers were at before this event started. So I've got, I've seen 551 and I caught 378. So to get an idea of what the spawns have been like, let's take a quick look at my current Bidoof numbers. It's really windy, so 
Don't judge me for my hair. <laughs> um, 581 seen and 397 caught. So looking at that, we've seen about 30 since the start of this event. Uh, it's only been a day or two in, so that's not terrible. And there's some I haven't clicked on. Honestly, they said um, the Bidoof numbers will increase as the event moves forward. And I thought that was just going to be with each move because you transfer through three different times where different moves are going to be available. And I thought each time one of those times got entered, um, the spawns would increase. But I guess they're just gradually increasing with each day. So I haven't found a shiny yet, but we're on the hunt for that. Definitely want to get it. Want to get a couple of them. Like I said earlier, I love when they make the Pokemon that typically spam up your game have shiny potential that way things are are still interesting right let's go ahead and take a look at my reggie gigas numbers as well because i'm real i'm down bad guys i am down bad for this i've seen 38 reggie gigas and i've caught 32 so before this event before reggie gigas came back in raids i was at maybe maybe six maybe five so I've done at least 32 Regigigas raids with no shiny. My heart's hurting. My heart's hurting bad. Um, especially because I did about 15 of each of the Regi Trio. Didn't get any of those shinies. So we're going to keep grinding. Hopefully we can get it. We've only got a couple more days. But that is where we are at. All right, trainers. So we, like I said earlier, we got to find Shadow Ho-Oh. Um, we're working on our seven colored Shadow task so we've got to put in some serious work we've got to purify another shadow pokemon and then we're going to be battling loveless in the great league to kind of get through this page of the research and then we'll see what we have to do next so let me go ahead and get a shadow boy ready and we'll get that purified right now we got a starly starly just waiting to be purified so let's go ahead and do that there we go Purified Starly. I don't really care about this Pokemon or having it purified, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and claim those 15 Ultra Balls. And now we're going to go ahead, find Loveless, and send him a battle request. Oops. A battle request for the Great League. All right, so we just defeated Loveless in our Great League PvP battle. He used an Abomasnow, a Jellicent, and a Scrafty. He was just letting me win. Didn't really do much, so I'm skipping the battle. Um, but there we go. That should be all we need. Gives us a charge TM, a rocket radar, some Stardust. Great job saving even more Shadow Pokemon Mystic. Through your efforts, we've learned that Ho-Oh has been handed off to Giovanni and made into a Shadow Pokemon. So we got to go out there and rescue that boy for sure. For now, I want you to find and defeat Arlo, Cliff, and Sierra. Doing so will help us build a super rocket radar that will lead us right to Giovanni and to Ho-Oh. Good luck. So I forgot that we do have to defeat all the Team Go Rocket leaders. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of go around this park, see if I can find some of these guys, and defeat some more grunts because I do not have three rocket radars. I have the one, and I think I have... Let's see how many pieces. Okay, so we're starting from ground zero. I don't have any mysterious components. So I'm going to grind that. And I don't think we're going to be doing the follow-up video at this park. Or the follow-up of this video here at Rio Vista. But I will show you guys once we encounter Giovanni and make our attempt at rescuing Shadow Ho-Oh. All right, guys, we are back for a quick second because we do have some updates. Um, we finally caught some Bidoof, and we were loaded up with Bidoof event tasks. So obviously, the only reward you're going to be getting for these tasks is more Bidoof. Um, and the research task has a better chance of giving you some better IVs if that's something you care about, if you're hunting the specific moves as a shiny. Um, so we're going to be checking those. But real quick, I want to show you guys our rocket radar. There's no Team Go Rocket leaders at this park. So we're going to have to go looking somewhere else for more of these guys, um, which is totally fine. But I do have two Go Rocket radars, so I only have to defeat six grunts instead of like 12 
um, to help defeat the other Team Go Rocket leaders. But that being said, let's go check out these encounters, see if we can get some shiny luck. All right, we got one. Bidoof, let's go. Yikes, all right. Let's try another one. All right. Regular looking Bidoof. One more. Shiny Bidoof. Nope. All right. Love to see it. So I wanted to show this part specifically in case I got a shiny, but also because I wanted to share with you guys your encounters get stare saved or stored, whatever word you want to use, at the top of your field research boxes when you don't catch the Pokemon. So Bidoof for this event will make it really easy to uh, accomplish field research tasks because everything's needing you to catch Bidoof and everything's rewarding Bidoof. So now that I know that none of those are shiny, I'm going to store them up there where it says claim reward for when I get more catch Bidoof tasks. And that way I never, I never have to go searching for the Pokemon I need to complete a task. So it's a, just a little tip from me to you guys. Um, if you appreciate these tips and all that, make sure you leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 500 subscribers by our one year, which is coming up uh, in September. I'm not sure the exact day, but it is September. So we're working on that. I'm going to go find me some more Team Go Rocket leaders and hopefully get some Shadow Shinies. I'll be sharing that with you guys as well. All right, guys, we are hopping into a Reggie Gigas raid. We've got seven people here. Big shout out to the people I invited who are helping. Jay Dominga, DZ, Bubba Baby, and five tay off my lawn or stay off my lawn. <laughs> uh, we got seven people in this lobby. I'm using all my fighting machamps. And hopefully we can clear this Reggie Gigas pretty quick. Um, I've been having some struggles trying to get this lobby set up. Um, but we're finally got it fixed and settled and hopefully hopefully this is the Reggie Gigas I need the shiny boy and you know I wouldn't be too upset if it ended up being a shundo uh, this is raid number 33 about number 33 so hopefully we can get it that's what I'm out here looking for um, when you're doing the Reggie Gigas raids make sure that you are using fighting types if you're using the recommended it's not helping anybody you're gonna burn through more pokemon you might not win the raid depending how many trainers you have uh it's just not good not in everybody's interest but that being said while we're taking out this reggie hat <laughs> sorry this reggie gigas let's take a look at the background of the new raid coliseum or stadium you can see they got new visors or something at the top, kind of like a roof. They've added more detailed people in the crowds. I don't know if there were people in the crowds before, but it's very distinctly different. Um, there's banners for each of the team on the bottom of the stadium down there as well, which is really awesome. And there's a new intro sequence as well. That It kind of reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links whenever you're dueling another duelist. Um, it kind of has that same feel to it. So overall, I really like it. We still need to be able to skip the items. That's That sucks that we can't, but it's all right. I do like that there are new trainer achievements. I have gotten two trainer achievements from raids. Um, so we're going to work on that. Maybe we'll even end up getting some this time around. I did accidentally use the recommended again. Uh, we'll go ahead and just keep using them because we're we're pretty far down. But yeah, you can get them for things like... I, I kind of cover it in my last video about Pokemon Go. But you can get it for having the tallest Pokemon, dealing the most damage, using the most super effective attacks. Or if you recently changed your avatar's items, you can also get it for that. And also dealing the last attack in the raid battle. So there's a couple different ways you can get those trainer achievements. But to get the platinum in that badge, you need to do at least 500... <laughs> at least 500 raids. So they just introduced that. I don't know if anybody has done 500 raids since that's been introduced. But... Alright, we got 2461. I don't think that's very good on the CP. I might be wrong. I think... 
maybe it is good. We'll find out. But what we're really hoping for is the shiny. I've been chasing this guy. This is one I really want, and I don't want to have to go into GoFest chasing Reggie Gigas when he was just with us. I got charged and ready. Performed 15 charged attacks. That's awesome. All right. What do we get? No shiny Reggie Gigas. All right. So I'm going to try and catch this guy, and then I got to go find some more rocket leaders. We still haven't finished that, so we might not be rescuing Shadow Ho-Oh in this video. But I'll keep you guys updated with what's going on. If there's nothing after this, I'll see you out in the next one.